Okay, everybody, it's been a little while since I've done a haul. I've kind of gotten backed up with my haul videos here. So uh, I'm hoping to get caught up, um, be on the lookout. I'm going to be posting uh, uh, a lot of uh, videos in a short amount of time. Uh, just uh, keep things moving. But anyways, we got Thunderbolt annual. Um, the big thing is uh, on this particular haul, I got a bunch to show. So we're going to move it fast. I like to keep things moving. But there's a store probably about an hour away from me that was having a 30th anniversary sale. So their dollar books were 30 cents and all their back issues were 30% off. So you'll probably hear me say minus 30%, minus 30%, um, a bunch in this video. So I apologize for that, but um, we'll just get to work and we'll start showing them. Here's Thunderbolt's annual number one. Uh, this was 30% minus cover. Um, it's the first uh, appearance of like the magical sh uh, shield. I think they called themselves Wand. So that was cool. I think there's, they're not in any order. i probably show you another one of those in a little bit. Uh, just imagine Sandman. I thought I had the whole set and uh, the last one I needed was Shazam. So I bought a Shazam one and I'm like, oh cool, I got the set. And then I was going through it. I'm like, wait, I have two Shazams. And I was missing Sandman, not Shazam. So I got confused, but I got this one. Um, I want to say it was like $6 minus the 30%, so can't go wrong with that. Uh, Star Wars Galaxy Edge, just a second printing. It's not worth anything really, but I kind of enjoy collecting the Galaxy Edge second printings. And it was, you know, 30% minus cover, 30% minus cover on this one. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 682 second print, same thing with this one. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 684 second print. Uh, Star Wars Republic number 47, uh, it was $4 minus 30%. This one I found in the 30 cent bin. Um, I was actually kind of surprised to see it because Earth 2, 25, and 19 are the big ones, but 24 has kind of gotten some heat because of, on the last page, you see uh, Valzad, uh, you know, in the, the Superman shirt. And um, this is the bombshell variant, so maybe people aren't used to seeing the bombshell variant. Um, so I was, I have FOMO. I overpaid for this one, even at the 30% discount, but it's really nice condition. I wanted to make sure I had it. I've done really well in 30 cent books. I was like, okay, I'll just get it and we'll make up for it by maybe moving some of the 30 cent books. But uh, Amazing Spider-Man 209 with the 30% off, it was $28. Definitely way, way, way too high for my blood. But um, everything else was so cheap, it kind of made everything made, made up for everything else. Um, completed the Vengeance run. Um, these I found in the 30 cent bin. So I was excited. You'll see some more in there too, but I needed, this is two, four, five, and I got a number six. So that was exciting to do. Um, there were more in there. Um, you'll see them coming up here. I think this was $7 minus 30%, just X-Wing Rogue Squadron 21. It's got some first appearances in it. We got Star Wars, Darth Vader. This was like, like $7 worth of discount. Um, so I thought that was pretty good. Uh, it's the, it has the, the evil droids and it's a variant. Um, just a, a static, uh, higher number, a static number 41 with a discount. It was like $14. Can't go wrong with that. And here's just a, a young Avengers variant. Um, I probably normally wouldn't have spent, I think it was like $25 with the discount. Um, or somewhere in that range, but it was, like I say, we do well on the 30 cent books with that coming up. I might as well show them. And um, I was like, ah, I'll just get it. I want to get it. Plus it's discounted. That's just a cool cover. I was like, okay, cool. Death dealer, number one. I get that. Okay, so now, now we're to more of the 30 cent books. Here's where I'll just start showing them, make them quick. Just Legion of Monsters, hey, you can't beat that for 30 cents. Plus you got two, plus three, plus four. So you got the run one through four for $1.20. Can't go wrong with that. 30 cents, Planet Scar, second printing, uh, number one. Uncharted, number three. Okay, 
SpongeBob number 81. 85 is the last issue, so it's one of the ones closer to the end. And I was almost able to put together this Neil Gaiman Eternals run. So we got number one, number two, number three. I'm missing number four. Here's number five. And number. So I'm missing. Now this up. Wait, it's. It goes to seven. So I'm missing six and four, it looks like. But it's pretty close. Can't go wrong with those. 30 cents a piece. Why not? Just an Adam Hughes cover. Nothing fancy. But for 30 cents. Guardians of the Galaxy, number 23. I think it has to do with the planet where uh, Venom's from is in it. Uh... I'm a Dias Chow. Ignore the price. It was 30 cents. I remember finding that one in there. I just found a board. I just bagged it in. More 30 cents stuff. Nothing fancy. Contest Champion 3 variant. Supreme 65. Bloodstone number 3. That's pretty cool. Uh, some no prize books. You know. When you, there's lots of times when you see them this cheap, you're like, I probably want to pay a dollar for a Sinister Spider-Man one second print. But for 30 cents, I'll just make it happen. Um, we got Adventure Superman third print, 497. We got 70 Superman 74 third print. We have 70 Justice League fourth print. We have 70 Superman 77 second print. And we have Adventure of Superman 498, a third print. I don't know. I just like these worth 30, 30 cents. Yeah, why not? At that price, might as well do it. Uh, can't go wrong with this in the 30 cent pile. Uh, this was $5 minus 30 cents, but up 30 cents, 30%. So for, for less than $5 for a second appearance of Silk, why not? Ignore the price that sticker. That was thirty cents. Here, here's another one uh, that I got. Uh, okay, so it was six dollars minus thirty percent. So it's like cover price probably in the end. Um, this one I believe was five dollars minus thirty percent. So that was good. This was six dollars minus thirty percent. Uh, first appearance of Ray. Uh, can't go wrong. Star Wars Force Awaken. This one I know was in a thirty cent pile. Um, Batman Detective Comics number 27. It's Frank Miller. Um, obviously, it's new 52 stuff, but I can't go wrong. So these were $10 a piece. Uh, so they came out to $7. Uh, Astonishing Ant-Man, uh, $7 a piece for these. Um, the number one, the hip hop variant. One, two, three, four, so five of them. So you can't go wrong. Seven bucks a piece for those. Um, this was, this I remember, I know it was not $5. This was like, uh, this was, might have been, this was like 450, 425 minus the 30%. These were in the 30 cent bin. Can't go wrong. I told you there were more vengeance coming. Can't go wrong. Uh, I thought this might be something. Miracle Man number 23. Um, it's really not. And it's got some findings, so I was like, eh, okay, we'll, we'll put that over there. Um, this was pretty cool. I found, you'll see some uh, Gargoyles theme coming, but Gargoyles number 11 for 30 cents a piece. Might as well get those. Can't go wrong. Uh, let's see, what else did we find? Uh, we got another Death Dealer, number one, 30 cents. Super Crooks, number one, second print. Hey, it's a Netflix, it's an option. Hey, maybe something. I'm high on this book for a long-term hold. First appearance of Armor, Astonishing X-Men, number four. Just some more cool second prints. Daredevil, 508, that I usually don't see. Hey, 30 cents a piece, might as well get them. And ignore the price. This was 30 cents, Catwoman, number 13. New 52. Let's see here. Imagine Agents. I remember back in the day that was kind of a thing. It was 30 cents. I got two of Incredible Hercules number 21. First appearance of that chick. You never know. But for that price, might as well. I kind of like the movie covers. 
Okay, why not? Tomb Raider Witchblade at number one. Why not? Uh, let's see here. Okay, yeah. Let's show you some gargoyles. Let's see what, let me show you what they had. And I kind of stocked up on them. Um, I got a bunch of number sevens. They're just random gargoyles, but for for the price they were at, why not? I haven't even bagged or boarded it yet. So I got one, two, three, four, five number sevens, it looks like. For $1.50, that's great. Bunch of number eights. I had some number eights, so I like getting those. We see a theme here. We got a bunch of number nines. So that's good. I wish they had more tens, but I got a couple tens. So that was fun there. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Sorry, I'm trying to keep things organized here a little bit. Um, now we're into some Danger Girl finds. Hey, Hawaiian Punch. Can't go wrong with that price. I don't know. I kind of like that cover. I don't, I, I don't know who does it, but whatever. It's cool. Just some Danger Girl. Here's a Campbell Danger Girl. And then I was able to find, like... I was really trying to put sets together for for that type of price, but I got Danger Girl Trinity number one, two, and three. Two and three are Campbell covers, so that's kind of cool. So they had one set of those and two sets. One, two, three. I think it goes to four, but I didn't, they didn't have it. But for uh, n less than a dollar for, for these three, you can't go wrong. So that was kind of cool to get. Um, let's see here. What else? What else? What else? We got some more Scarlet Witch from the 2016 series. We got a number five. We got two number fives. So I got to hold it, hold it up here. A number seven, a number nine, a number 11, a number 14. I really should check, see how close. I think it only goes up to uh, 14. See how close I am to making a run happen in my collection. I thought these were cool. Uh, they don't really go for much, but we get three of them less than a dollar. All new Wolverine number eleven, the variant, the Tum Sum. I don't know. I don't know how you say it. Whatever. And they had some Americas, which I was kind of surprised to see. Um, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Dollar twenty for those four. Can't go wrong. Uh, some Suicide Squad spec. Uh, there's Weasel on the cover there. Um, X-Men 100, there's a bunch of different covers. I don't even know if I have this one. I think there's like six of them. I think I might be pretty close to finishing it. I need to figure that out. Extreme X-Men, this was a first appearance of something or something. I don't remember, but I remember seeing it somewhere. And then I was like, well, it's so cheap. I might as well get it in case it does catch on. So, so not from there. Uh, these I was actually really surprised to find for 30 cents a piece. Green Lantern 28, it's the first full appearance of Octolicus, uh, the Red Lantern. Obviously 25 is the, is the money book, but this is when you see him again. So it gets some heat. It could be worth something someday, a little bit here. Um, I don't know, I just like this cover. And this book, Lady Cop for 30 cents. Okay, just a forever evil variant. So cheap, I couldn't say no. Uh, there's two Witchblade uh, first appearances. Can't go wrong with that. Some uh, Incredible Hulk 106 and 107 uh, second printings. Okay, fine, I'll get those two. I mean, it, it's funny when, when the price is right, you're like, oh, I'll just get it and worry and not really care. If it's really worth anything, or if I change my mind later, it's not a big deal. I don't know. I like the Thor Corpse books. I see those. I, I can't say no. And I, I've always liked this Green Lantern Harley Quinn variant from New 52. Um, so I got it. Uh, let's see here. Speaking of Green Lanterns, I'm big on the Green Lantern number one rebirth with Jessica Cruz. So there's one. Uh, that's the first printing we got. One, we got five second printings. $1.50 for these five second printings of Green Lantern's number one rebirth. 
they're not worth much, but I think in the long run with Jessica Cruz and Baz, uh, it could be it could be a thing. So hey, I'll stock up at that price. I saw one of these. I remember back in the day. Uh, it's the you know it's the first Sam Wilson Falcom on cover or in whatever in costume. I don't know. It's something silly. Who really cares? But for thirty cents. Uh, Darkness, uh, Tomb Raider, Direct Forces variant, okay. United States of Murder, number one, okay. Oh, this is kind of funny. Sebastian, a uh, little, uh, uh, Little Mermaid stuff. SpongeBob 82, we were a little closer to the last issue, and I found another 81. They're just, it goes to 85, but I didn't quite make it. But, you know, we'll go from there. Can't go wrong with Wolverine's number three. It's first appearance of Lady Phantom X, I think. I don't, I don't remember her name. I remember it's not a thing. It's not worth anything, but it could be. Uh, Return of Living Deadpool number one. Number two. I'm missing number three, but I got a number four. So a little bit closer, a little bit closer. Um, Red Wolf hip hop variant. Hey, I, that's kind of a cool cover. I just liked it. Speaking of Phantom X... They had four of his number one. So it's his first solo series. Eh, okay. And a little Adam Hughes goodness from, from, from Ferris. We got number 10 and number 19. We got two of each. So, you know, can't go wrong with, with that sort of thing. They see you like, oh crap, I'll just get it. Um, let's see here. Hold right, on a second. Well, uh, two of these, I was shocked to still find that 30 cents a piece. Surrey number six, first, first meeting between Miles and Surrey. Two of them. Can't go wrong for 60 cents. Um, Manhunter number one, first appearance of that particular Manhunter. Okay, fine. I don't know. I've kind of been, I've, I've seen other videos and been talking to Kilowog. Uh, what the heck, why not? This one I haven't seen, and I was I've, whenever I come across Rune, I always look for Rune vs. Venom, and it was there. Uh, just Batwoman thirty two, the um, the variant, and another Highlander number zero, a first appearance Highlander in comics. Okay, fine. Um, yeah, here you go. So I'm going through them, and I'm like. Is this the whole set? And it sure enough was. So I got the whole set, one through 19, the Slimer for 30 cents a piece. Can't go wrong. I don't know, just with Ghostbusters, Slimer, the set. I, I was just in the buying mood. Everything was so cheap, you know. They're not really worth anything. Kind of the last issue, maybe a little bit people try to, but I just thought it was cool to get, get, get a whole set of Slimer one through 19. Here's 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Just sitting in those boxes. So I was like, oh, I'll get Slimer 1 through 19. Can't go wrong with that. Okay, we're making good progress. We went a lot of books, short amount of time. Soul Saga number one, 30 cents. Can't go wrong. Michael Turner cover. Uh, 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 Chuck, we got three. Two and one from the TV show. I don't think they're worth anything, but I remember liking the show. It was cheap. Um, here's just the second printing of Spider Geddon number two. Okay, it was the second printing. I always look for the uh, here's Fear Itself uh, one and three. Number two is the money book when you have uh, Deadpool and the MC Hammer pants. So maybe I'll find that at an affordable price one of these days, but at least I can say I've, I've got one and three now. Uh, hardcore kind of was a thing a while back, but it's not really anymore. One, two, three, four, five of them, a dollar fifty for five hardcores that could turn into something. Maybe it does, it does, if it doesn't, it doesn't. It's just, uh, it's so cheap. I couldn't say no and not get them. Okay. Where am I to my last little pile here? Here, okay, so here's what we got. Um, we have Guardians of the Galaxy, number five. 
These were cover. I remember these being cover, uh, minus 30, 30%. And uh, it's first appearance, uh, full appearance of Angela in the Marvel Universe. Okay, maybe that'll turn into something, whatever. Uh, this one was 30% off, uh, 30 cents. Uh, these were $2 a piece, minus 30%. Okay, Curse of Spawn, their Angela covers, no big deal, right? But, boom, new stands. So, Spawn, Angela, new stands. Um, they might be worth something someday. That's nothing. It's a new stand. I was hoping it would be. This was a nice 30. I showed one. I got another one of these, more uh, Suicide Squad spec, and being 30 cents, you got Weasel on the cover. Suicide Squad spec, thinking of that, we have. Mongol, Mongal is a baby, Mongol is an adult, so there you go. Uh, we have Idris Elba's character, Bloodsport, first appearance. Uh, that was, actually, I didn't get that at the sale. This is, we're just in my Suicide Squad section here. That one should have been in a dollar bin in a different hall, but that's okay, it happens. Uh, this was $7 with the discount, but it's the first appearance of Arm Off Boy, okay, or Man, or whatever. I need to get it. $7 can't go wrong. And we found here's another amazing Spider Man. Uh, second appearance of Silk, number five. And the last one I have to show you guys Incredible Hulk, number 49. That was a nice 30 cent fine. Um, it, it, homages where the wild things are uh it's, it's like a 20 dollar book right now uh on a regular basis so it was a good find anyways that was my very productive uh 30 off 30 anniversary sale at the store thanks for watching